Good morning, everyone. It's Friday morning, April the 8th, which means we have one week of Lent left. Next week, Good Friday, we have two services here at the Waterloo site as well as at the Kitchener site at 9 o'clock as well as at 11 o'clock in both sites. I hope that you can join us for some of those services. This morning, I want to reflect a little bit about God's faithfulness. Just as he was faithful to go to the cross and to die for our sins, he is faithful to us each and every day. There's a passage of scripture from Numbers chapter 23, verse 19, and it says this, God is not a human being, and he does not lie. He is not a human, and he does not change his mind. What he says he will do, he does. What he promises he will do, he makes come true. I think as believers, that's one of the things that we love most about our relationship with God is that he is completely faithful at all times. He will not leave us hanging, but he will come through for us in our time of need. And when we most need him, he is always there. Being able to fully trust in God is what actually allows us to live life fully and to enjoy life fully. And that's one of the things that I want to encourage you with today. This last week after coming home from a vacation, I've been meeting up with a good number of our seniors and there's, there's a lot of people that are going through challenging, challenging times. And so I invite you to continue to pray with me that God would re remain faithful to especially to those people who are going through difficult times with their health or with their family situations. But we have a God who is more than able to accomplish everything that he says that he will. In Philippians chapter 1, verse 6, he says, I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion. God has begun a good work in each of us, and he is the one who is going to bring it to completion. We can depend upon him. Just like Romans 8, verse 29 says, We know that for those who love God, all things work together for good for those who are called according to his purposes. God has called you according to his purposes. Allow him to do his work completely in you and to demonstrate his faithfulness as you allow him to walk with you through good times as well as through challenging and troubling times. May God bless you and encourage you today. And may you find this last week of Lent a time of reflection and a time of purpose. God bless you.